All right, so we got game one. This guy was ranked 127, a pretty decent record, 684 to 337. Currently on a two-game losing streak. About to turn that into a three-game. Um, this game didn't last too long. Uh, he started off with an onside kick. I seen that he switched to man coverage, so this is one of my man setups in the bunch tight end. I'm pretty sure I dropped this on YouTube, like when Madden first came out. This has like my been my go-to scheme since day one, um, and just you know you can't leave Chase one on one when it's man coverage. This is what you This is going to be a reoccurring. Um, let's go ahead and back that up so y'all can see that route combo. This is going to be my go-to route combo in a bunch of different formations. Where I have my streak, I got my flat, my corner, and then my running back, I motion over with the streak. I get so many touchdowns with this streak down the middle with the uh, the running back. And then, uh, I don't know if I do it right here, but normally I'll put this guy like on a 5 and in or drag route him. This route combo is very hard to stop. Um, one, because you have to worry about this so much. Um, and then what this streak does... Like, if you don't play it, I'm going to throw it to it. But he will bring in those vert hooks right here in the middle. So when this guy comes across, a lot of times he'll be my last check down. First read is always the, the flat. And then if I see that the corner is going to be open, I'll go and wait for the corner. But if not, I my other main check down is going to be, be my running back, which I think I throw to my running back right here. Oh, yeah. So you see I did bring him on a five and in right here. Actually changed it to a drag route. Regardless, they both work. But look at this. Look how open this is in the middle of the field because of the just the route combo. We got this guy. The you know this hook has to you know understand that this guy is coming down with the drag. The left side just has to worry about that whole concept. And then a lot of times, my running back gets wide open in the middle of the field. That happens so much. Um, and then right here, this is another route combo that I like out of gun box. Now, I actually thought to the wrong person, but we still get it because we had Jamar Chase and Burrow. Um, but watch right here. This is just a double out route. That's what I like to call it. Uh, normally, I'll do two zig routes. So I'll have a zig route from the outside guy and a zig route from the inside. And then the middle wide receivers on some type of inside route. Um, but this works as well. My guy coming in on the motion actually helps. Like, look how open my guy on the outside gets open. I could have threw it to that little five and out, but we took the chance with Chase because he is the number one guy um then we jump into game two uh ranked 161 currently on a three game losing streak really good record 1000 wins 200 losses um and this isn't my my main account this is one of my accounts that i do actually get a lot of comp but uh game two and what do you know we start off with another onside kick honestly my opinion just if they come out in onside, come out in the regular kick and user this guy right here. I, Whenever I come out in an onside recovery is normally when they get the ball. Like, I just come out in the regular kick. I control that guy. I watch if the ball is going to come past 10 yards, and I go from there. Um, I, I like As you can see, I like to start off with my bunch tight end. It is my go-to. Had a really good play. He's disguising man coverage. I thought I was man. I thought I was going to be able to get the one play touchdown with the running back. Wide open right here. Um, probably some type of cover too. Um, but again, here we go with our concept right here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make him do some type of in route. Um, and right here, what I'm seeing is everything got pretty picked up. Now, I could have probably waited for Chase to get open. I'm not sure if he was in some type of match or if it was actually man coverage. But I was being smart because I am on my tryhard account and I'm actually trying to get some comp footage for y'all. So I took the first available wide receiver, which was going to be the flat route. He beats his guy towards the edge, which you're going to see right here. He beats him towards the edge. Now, again, I could have went for this, but I just wasn't sure. Um, yeah, I mean, Chase probably would have had a touchdown right there, honestly. I just now seeing it. This is another one of my um, go-tos right here. I don't think I dropped this on YouTube. This is a very good um, third down money play. Uh, this route combo right here will beat all zones. Like you have to go user it yourself to stop that. Even if you put your flats on 30. With this setup with um, Y on the out route and then this guy on an out route. If you're in cover two or cover two man, this is a one play touchdown to Jamar Chase right here. Um, and anything else I'm going to be. And then I got my last check down with X. A lot of times he'll be open in the middle of the field. Let's see if he actually gets open. We throw it to B right here, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, see, the user has to play that. He has to play X. If not, he's going to be open. 
but we we throw a low ball right here now if we don't click on and make this uh, make this catch ourselves this could possibly be a pick um that cornerback slay just played the hell out of that but because we actually clicked on and made the aggressive catch we actually were able to make the catch right there but that is a really good um set of route combo out of an empty set right here uh let's go ahead and back up a little bit um <clears throat> i know we just dropped a video with this defense and you're again you're gonna see me moving my dbs around i move i'm in my i'm uh, audible into my cover for a drop i'm moving my my uh my safety that i'm not using to the trip side and i'm gonna use the weak side safety i'm pretty sure we bait him right here yeah so because of the speed i know what it, i know what turner is capable of and that's an important thing about understanding your team i know what turner is capable of i'm following him on purpose because i know this route is coming across right here so we're going to set him up with the bait unfortunately we don't get the pick we should have got the pick but i overplayed it uh if i would have played underneath a little bit more that would have been a pick but that's just understanding personnel on the field um and you know knowing what your your players are capable of 97 speed i'm gonna be able to break on a lot of balls like that and now this is something i do myself and i caught that he was doing it you see how he's motioning this guy out like this he's trying to set up a corner route um and he was loving the corner routes just like me and there's nothing wrong with that we all run corner routes with streaks now i don't know if you were able to see let me see you in my change in my defense if you actually get to see it so when he's inside the numbers i have him on a, a 25 zone see and then when he motions them out, I drop them back. Those are things you have to do because if not, this streak right here would have bombed me. If I would have kept my 25, and I told you he was he was looking for that corner route. He was looking for the concept that I do, uh, street, corner, flat. And then he also has somebody coming across the field. It's a very popular concept. I'm not going to say I made it popular, but I don't see anybody running it as much as me. I know a lot of people actually do run it. Um, and we shut down the corner, but he did have the flat which I tried to play um, and break off and try to pick it up, but we just didn't have the speed or the time to get to that. Again, though, um, he's getting to a dangerous era. Once he gets to that 30 yard, doesn't matter what he does, what formation, I'm putting my 25s out there. Now, I probably should have put 30s out there, but you can see everything is bagged up, nowhere to throw the ball. This is where this defense becomes a box. When you get 30 yards from the touchdown, that's where I get the most excited because I can box up a lot of defenses. Um, right here, I think he he made a mistake. Let's let's go. Um, and I was gonna pick it up. I know. I, well, I don't know, but in my head, he see I see this guy come across, so I figured that's who he's trying to throw to. And watch my user. I go to pick that up. Um, and Anderson 92 speed everybody that I use her on the Bengals is 92 speed or faster and that's why they're one of my go-to comp teams I want to say he made a mistake I don't think he meant to throw this um, but then he threw it right to my guy and we get the pick so nice little turn turnover for us um, this is one of my go-to runs right here I don't think this is another play I don't think that we dropped on YouTube um, but look how important that um, that motion snap is this is why I tell you all a lot look how he drags the defense in i know some people say it's cheesy but it is what it is you know we run medals over here when we're really trying to play comp and we're trying to you know especially we're playing for money but that's just a simple you know uh rpo stretch motion snapping and we just dropped this um this whole run scheme right here we did we started off with the stretch i wanted to see how he was uh gonna do against the run i think we actually get a touchdown right here nice little pitch triple option uh, his player took a bad angle and one of the reasons his player took that bad angle is because the fake to the inside on the triple option um back on defense we got our cover four out there now this was a good play by him now that this is one of uh those route combos that my defense will struggle with he has a wheel route the tight end was out of the backfield going to a wheel, a wheel route and he has the street clearing out and then he has a flat this is basically like the street corner flat concept only with the wheel route out of the backfield with the tight end very difficult to stop um we would definitely have to make some type of zone adjustments i would probably do like a double mabel so where we would have our uh deep blue and then we would have somebody playing the flats and then somebody playing like 25 to 20 um but really good concept right there by him very uh very difficult to stop that route combo but he's getting into dangerous territory again 30 yards from the, the end zone. Um, this is where my defense is really good. 
Um, so I'm putting, I want to say I'm putting flats out there on everything. Um, and I want you to pay attention to this purposely, um, understanding again, speed. This is DJ Turner. I know if he gets past his cornerback on a streak, I know this guy's going to be able to pick it up. And that's exactly what happens. We use her the other safety. We pick up that crossing route. And he sees that he beats my corner, but we got 97 speed DJ Turner playing safety. He took a little too long to throw it, but even if he threw it a little sooner, I'm pretty sure we would have picked that off and it would have went in our favor. Um, let's see what we've got going on offense. Here we go again. Um, again, my favorite route concept right here. We got the corner, the flat, the streak with the running back, and then we got a 10 and in. It's uh third and ten. So instead of doing my drag, I do want to make sure I get some uh routes to that uh first down marker but i'm pretty sure we throw it to the running back still and because he has to you know watch this corner route i know i can throw this inside to my running back which i think i do right here yeah and he can't make the play on it that's why that route combo is just so deadly this is basically the same setup just different formation um but i do think um okay yeah it's again fourth and six so i want to make sure i get some some guy and this isn't low-key this might be the new setup right here instead of you know not so much where i smart routed to the first down but the corner with the street and actually instead of having a flat this outside receiver putting them on a five and in i've been trying this concept out and it's actually been working really well um but i know he's going to be watching the corner route because i've been favoring it i know so we're going to be looking for the five and in smart routed right here and i think that is who we throw to tight window but knowing that i have burrow knowing that i can get that pass right there and i got a, a receiver that can make the catch in traffic we took the chance no mid zone ko's right there so i was okay with making that pass um this was me just trying to get some yards back it was second and 18 or something like that um i could have possibly got the corner off here honestly uh hold on this is a little too far let's go ahead and let that play run I could have probably got the corner. Let's actually look look back at this real quick. I'm not too sure. Um, again, when you're in the game and you're actually playing it, it's a lot different. Okay, but because of the bump, that's probably why I wasn't trying to take the chance. And you can see he has somebody on my running back. So I was just trying to pick up some yards right here to make my third down a little bit easier, which we do. We ended up making it into a third and 10, which is I'm okay with. We're going back to one of my uh, – that, that route combo I told you that I favor a lot. Um it's out of an empty set i will drop this uh this setup for y'all pretty soon it is a, a play that i did drop on uh tiktok already but again we have our corner route with the streak this is very hard to stop in its own um the check down and then this guy honestly is just to clear out for the streak down the middle if it's covered two um I'm not too sure who I throw to. Okay, it's a cover two. This completely bombs cover two. And again, it doesn't matter if you have this guy at 30. This guy, the way his route is set up, it's going to always lead him to the corner where a 30-yard flat will not be able to play it. Um, and a possible one-play touchdown. Um, let's see what we got going on right here. Yeah, this okay, yeah. This is man coverage. And I, I peeped that he was playing man coverage right here. Um, and what I, what I always tell you all about man coverage is make it simple. And you're going to see um, that I do something different. This play as a default, other than this route right here, it's, I think it's normally a C route. This play default is just good against man coverage. This guy can beat man. This corner route is probably the best corner in Madden 24 out of all corner routes against man coverage. This is good against man. But I was focusing on this right here. I don't care that he has Darius Slay on him. And this is a mediocre wide receiver right here. This is how strong uh, curl routes are. And I know that I see that it's man coverage. Once I see that, I'm like, I'm locking in for my curl route right here. Throw it underneath. We get the touchdown. I'm pretty sure this guy ends up quitting. This is game three. Now, this game was a headache because I don't like to say people cheat. I don't like to say people glitch. Uh, he's ranked 155. Pretty good record. 1,000 wins, 300 losses. But this is one of those times I want to say that this guy was lag switching. Now, we started the game off bad. Normally, I get this pass off, but I'm going to show you where I messed up right here. I wasn't expecting that bump. Um, if we, if I didn't get bumped right here, right here against this player right here, if I don't get bumped, I'm going to be able to get this off. But because that bump messed me up and I threw it, he was able to get the pick with the D tackle. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. We got to lock in. We got to get the ball back. 
Um, and he also makes a mistake. Okay, this is what I'm dealing with right here. Look, that's not me pausing it. That's him. Like, I cannot make adjustments. This whole game, I struggled to make adjustments, and it was pissing me off. Luckily, he makes a mistake right here. He gets a good run with Lawrence, but he ends up fumbling. He should have got down. So the ball goes back into our favor. I am so glad that happened because I, just you're going to see the whole game. I'm dealing with this, this little lag switch. But we're back to our concept right here. Uh, flat corner, and we're able to get the corner. That corner is so deadly. And if you know how to free farm to get it away from that um, – that uh, cornerback out there, you can get it damn near every single time. Again, same concept. Um, this time, I'm I'm running what I was telling y'all that I was going to be running. Uh, that outside wide receiver on a five and in, so I don't have a flat route out there. I don't normally I'll put this guy on a zig in this formation and this guy on a streak, but now I'm trying something out where I put this guy on a streak and I'm noticing that this five and in is still kind of keeping that flat shallow. And not only that, it's giving me a nice check down in the middle of the field. And then we got um, this running back on the street clear clearing out anything in the middle. And if it doesn't, if they don't follow, I got a nice pass to the running back down the middle. Um, and then, you know, just the corner with the streak alone is hard to stop, which we're able to get, again, freeform it down, able to get a nice catch with the wide receiver right here. Um, and, yes, I'm a big corner flat streak user. Now, this was just a mistake by him not somebody that should be guarding chase one-on-one -on -one right there and we get the touchdown with the corner out when i told y'all that was one of the best corner okay again look <laughs> let me let me back up real quick this is not me pausing the video this is not me pausing the video this is what i was dealing with all game look how the game freezes i'm on defense it freezes he's able to line down and he was quick snapping me so this is what made me think that he was actually doing some type of cheat um, I could not set my defense up. I normally I would come out in my safety blitz, but I wasn't able to. And then this is just me making a mistake right here. Um, this is actually a really good play that a lot of pros actually run. Um, but the mistake I made was with my safety. I came down and I fell too much for that run play at the middle. Um, but we actually ended up stopping them. Um, uh, but again, right here, I'm getting quick snap. We were gonna we were gonna get a, a goal line stance going, but we get quick snap and I can't set my defense up. Um so he's able to get some plays off on me and he actually scores. Back in the uh this is a, a similar um situation. He gets back to the red zone, he's trying to quick snap me. This time I actually get my zones set up and see what happens. I was able to actually put my corner on my flat that plays that area, and we got the pick. Going back to the concept right here, this is actually, uh, this looks like bunch tight end with the receiver, uh, or I'm sorry, this looks like gun box right here, but this is actually bunch tight end, same concept though. Um, now right here, what I've been noticing is he's been favoring this left side a lot, and on the fourth and one, what do you expect me to do? Go for that out, the, the I hit him with the flat route a couple times, and I hit him with that corner route. So I changed it up. I had my running back as a check down still, the five and in. Um, but we put Chase on a streak. We took a chance right here because even if this isn't open, what's, what it is going to open up is this tight end on this um, post corner or uh, corner post. And I don't know what happens. He might have messed up, but you can see, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did we just do? Hold on. Let's back up. Let's find out where we were. All right, we're back where we were. I don't know. I clicked something wrong. Kind of messed up the whole video um but watch his user right here he's so worried about because it's fourth and one he's so worried about that flat route so that's what he's guarding over here and he just i obviously um worried about the corner route so with this user he can play the flat or play the corner but probably did not expect me to put the streak with b um and i don't know what he did with his defense because there's literally nobody here i mean so i'm just going to take the opportunity to give me a one play touchdown right here um I'm just going to take advantage of that. And basically from here, it's the same thing. I'm dealing with these issues on defense. Again, you're going to see it freeze. I can't make any adjustments. Um, I want to say I do actually get a good goal line stance here. But I'm struggling. Oh, no, no. Okay. I normally in this position, um, which it happens right here, I'm able to do it. I'm able to do it on this, uh, the two-point conversion. I put a quarterback spy, which is this guy right here. Um, and I, I, this is out of the three, four, I'm playing a cover four. So I'm, I got my, my, uh, cornerbacks on five, uh, five yard flats or zero yard flats. 
Then I got my outside linebackers on five yard flats. And then obviously these two guys, five yards. And then I got my safeties. I'm using this safety and I got the quarterback spot here. That's my setup when I'm in this position. And when I get my adjustments off, the defense is really difficult to run against or do anything against. Um, like, think about it. How many times have you been in this position and somebody has scored by running with the quarterback? It happens a lot. So you always got to make sure you put some type of quarterback spy um, and we able to just, you know, pick them off with the user. Things go in our direction. Tries to kick an, an offside kick. Uh, now, this was kind of, you know, stupid by me. I, I did a really good run right here. And I'm going to tell you all right now, if you ever get in this position, get down. Just get down. Expect, and I should have just got down, but I wanted to prove myself that I could stop this guy even with this stupid glitch he's got going on. Um, but if you're in this position for money or anything like that, fall right here. Make him waste his timeouts. We went for the touchdown. Um, and then he actually gets downfield on me. Um, okay, this is where we get our goal line stance going. And I still, I get most of my adjustments off, but he quick snacks me and I'm stuck on a D tackle. Um, and you can see right there, I'm able to actually just, my, my uh, vert hook actually shuts him down. Hey, this play right here, this is probably unnecessary, but I just had to do it to him. Um, I knew he was going to run commit. I mean, he I ran a stretch on him before, and I got success with it. I knew he was going to run commit to the left. This RPO is insane. Just that's all you need to do right there. Put your fastest receiver on that fade route, and you're, you're going to get a touchdown. If they press, play man coverage, you're going to get a touchdown every time. But this is some game gameplay I wanted to share with y'all. Um, we had some top ranked players uh th this was three games in a row like top 100 top 100 top 100 every time i play on this account i always go against top 50 players top 100 usually no nobody over top 1000 top 500 guys um but i just wanted to you know break some gameplay down for y'all and show y'all that my schemes that i use and my defense that i use actually does work against comp players not just your average madden player that picks up the game these guys got thousands of games played and we're boxing them up even dealing with glitches um but we are going to drop some of these uh these schemes i've been running uh to give y'all more uh firepower on offense obviously y'all know my defense that's the defense i've been running against these guys um but that's but that's about it man i just wanted to show y'all some gameplay against some comp players